Hey everyone, it's Josh Sutherland, your Young and Free South Carolina spokester, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the basics of credit. Credit scores are not really like golf scores or bowling scores or Tetris scores or anything like that. I think about it like a really long semester of class, where you have homework and tests and quizzes, all with different weights that affect your overall grade. With your credit score, there are five different categories that all affect your score differently. The first most important category is, do you pay your bills on time? If you do pay your bills on time, that's good. If you don't pay your bills on time, that's bad. If you have bills sent to collections, that's really bad. And declaring for bankruptcy is the worst thing you can do for your credit score. The second category deals with how much credit you're using out of your available credit. So if I say to you that you can use $100,000 of my money, but you only use $10,000 of it, that's good for your credit score. If you use all $100,000 of it, that's normally seen as riskier to lenders. The third category is just the length of your credit history. Obviously, the longer you've been using credit, the better your credit score will be. The fourth category deals with your mix of credit, which looks at two general types of credit. Secured loans are loans for things like your house, boat, or car, where if you miss payments, they can actually seize your house, boat, or car, or houseboat, or boat car, or whatever. The other type is insecured loans. These are for things like lines of credit and credit cards, where lenders don't actually see what you're purchasing with the money. If you successfully maintain loans of each type, your credit score will go up. The fifth and final category deals with recent loan applications. If you take out a lot of loans in a short amount of time, it might be seen as a sort of desperate act, like you're taking out new loans in order to pay off old loans, which is obviously a very bad thing to do. Now that you know how your credit score is calculated, you should know what a good credit score would actually be. Almost all credit scores range from 300 to 850, with the large majority of scores landing in the 600s and 700s. Texas actually has the lowest state average credit score with 651, so I feel like that's a good minimum goal to reach for. So, if you want a free and easy way to get your credit report, don't listen to the guys on TV with the crappy jobs and the crappy car. You know the guys I'm talking about. If you go to their place, they actually charge you for other services and give you a credit score as a sort of free bonus. That's like seeing an ad for a free dog leash, and when you get there they say, Oh, you can only get the free dog leash if you buy a dog from us first. That's pretty lame. Instead, you should go to www.annualcreditreport.com. It was set up by the three major credit reporting services, which are Equifax, Experion, and TransUnion. They collaborated with the FTC, or Federal Trade Commission, in order to give you one free credit report per service per year. All you have to do is go there, enter some security information, and you can view a detailed credit history there for free. If you pay a few dollars extra, they will also send you your credit score. It's important to know your credit score at all times, because if you have a low credit score, it will be harder to get loans, and the ones you do get will have higher interest rates. If you have a high credit score, lenders will see you as more attractive because you're less risky, and you may be rewarded with lower interest rates. Also, you should know your score to avoid being victimized by identity theft. If someone gets a hold of your financial information, they can take out loans, not pay them back, and that can destroy your credit history. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you still have questions, you can leave a comment below, send me an email at youngfreesc at gmail.com, or go to the Makes Sense section of the blog and ask a financial expert. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.